Hello artists, today we are conducting the watercolor experiment. Messy mat is required. And before we get too far, I need you to write your name and your class on your paper in something that doesn't dissolve in water. So not marker, crayon's good, pencil's good, pen's good. Flip it over. At this point, your paper's not really going to have a direction. You will decide that later. There's four items we're using in our experiment. We will be using some good old fashioned plastic wrap, which I will have a station for that. You'll have to come get it when you need it. Rice, yes, this is edible. Don't eat it though. <laughs> Salt, and I will have a station for this one as well. This is not water, this is rubbing alcohol. Kinda stinky. <laughs> you are going to take your watercolors and your paper and you're going to kind of divide it up into sections. It doesn't have to be four equal sections. You do it how you want. So just pick a color, any color, get it wet, and paint on your paper. If you want to have some fun with it, you can always mix colors. Just remember it's always best to mix colors that are beside each other on the color wheel. While this is still fresh, this section, section number one, I'm going to sprinkle salt on it. All right, next item. Same thing, pick a part of your page, paint it. And add one of these materials to it. Something you haven't used yet. So I'm gonna have essentially four sections for the four items I'm adding. When you first put the rice on, you might think it's not doing anything. Let it sit. We're not taking it off today. It'll come off later. All right, now before you need the plastic wrap, you wanna come see me to get plastic wrap and then paint that section. For this project, if your colors blend together a little bit, that's okay. And for the plastic wrap, we're just gonna lay it on and kind of bunch it up and leave it. Do not pick it up yet. Rubbing alcohol. I have a rubbing alcohol station. So we squeeze the little pipette, put it in the rubbing alcohol, and then drip a little bit in a few areas. Just a tiny little drop. And then it's gonna spread on its own. Any extra we squeeze back in our cup. So once you have used all four items on your paper, then this goes on the drying rack. Messy mat comes with. Everything that's on it stays on there until this is dry. 